Okay, let's have a look-see. Let's have a look-see over here. Move about the right up the PC. Which PC should be accessed? Bebs PC. Yep. Let's move Pokemon. So there was that, uh, maybe I should have, like, a dedicated area for these, uh, shinies that we've been getting during the, uh, cute charm shenanigans. There's, a uh, Wakargo Mark II. We got, uh, our other Akira here. The green Crobat. And then we have Pele here. The one shiny legendary that we'll probably ever get on this channel. Most likely. I don't know if the day will ever come that I have the opportunity to catch any other shiny legendaries on this channel. And even this was with the RNG manipulation, but uh, but still, look at it. Look at that, bootyful. I really wish the cute charm glitch worked on a other. Oh yeah, I'm freaking the Lord of Jars because we have Dark Ray of the Jar under there. I've, I forgot about that name. My goodness. Okay, can I, let's fix my party now. Let's take out our like cute charm dudo for now. And let's go do some battles and stuff. But yeah, it's adamant. What the, uh, is that what it, wait. Well, if it can, whoops. If it really can, if I can at the end of the day, transfer this save file over to like my actual 3DS and transfer this over to modern games. If I can manage it, then there are like the mints that you can use to like change that stuff around anyway, I guess. All right, Malate, you, uh, you got to chill here again. All right, let's fix our party. Let's fix our party. So where's, um, there you go. There's Torterra. Clefable can take you out and then Spirit. We're putting you back down here again. There we go. Something like that. Was that even your spot before? Did you uh, swap places with the tactical fridge? Maybe I should actually like swap places with the, cause I think the tactical fridge used to be here. I'm fairly certain. And then uh, Lucario was here. And then if we turn off Krikatoon like that, we can turn on Crobat. There we go. There we go. There's our, there's our stuff. I want to move Lucario to the left a little bit cause it's bugging me slightly. Is that good? Is that about centered? It looks about centered-ish. Should our tactical refrigerator go a little bit to the right? <laughs> it has to be perfect. What? No. Uh, I'm screwing it all up. It's like Pixel Hunter Simulator. There's no reason for it to be centered, I guess. And Vaporeon could have been much better this whole time. Like that. I mean, Flareon. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Let, let's close the thing. There we go. Okay, let's heal up. Let, let's see about some battles over in this other building now. There we go. I would love to rest my Pokemon after that whole set of shenanigans we just went through. My goodness. So we'll do like these battles and like rematches and stuff here. And then we'll, uh... I don't know what we'll do. I guess we'll put Clefairy back into the slot there. In case we want to... From this point onward, anytime we want to be randomly encountering shinies, we can just bring Clefairy with us. Is the thing, you know? Who are you gonna lead with, I wonder? In a rematch. Who would you lead with? Should I just play it semi-safe and have Malos, the Torterra here? Is that maybe what we should do? All right, let's go ahead and save the game. It's already save file. Yes, it's okay to override it. So yeah, I guess the main things that we have left to do for like future sessions and next session in particular is a whole bunch of legendary hunting. So sad we can't like hunt them shiny wise with the Clefairy, but alas, but yeah. What's the accuracy of hypnosis? I got, did you freaking go to Stark Mountain and get hit with hypnosis four times in a row like I did earlier this stream from Mars or something? Is that what's going on here or is this a completely different area? Because earlier this stream, I got hit with four in a row is the thing. The accuracy is 60% and I got hit with four in a row. So, uh, no, it's 55. I was wrong. I thought it was 60. It's 55. Hey, Harm, you aren't the only one getting tougher. I'll prove it to you. Let's go. All right, Michael, here we go. Here we go, the one day older than me in real life, mad lad. Been hit by every hypnosis in Pokemon Yellow. Okay, so a completely different game there. Oh, gosh darn it. I, uh... No! Do you know what I just did? Um... So, I have a lot of monitors here. I have my monitor over there that's OBS, the whole streaming software. I have the TV up there that's like my chat and alert box and stuff. I have the game in front of me. And then over here is where I have my stream manager, which is like a Breath of the Wild background right now. 
I went to file here, I tried to click on it, and I clicked X on my left monitor over here, and I freaking X'd out of my stream manager, is what I just now did. How do I adjust this camera to, uh, there we go. There we go, something like that. I literally just closed down my stream manager in an attempt to restart the freaking thing here. Gosh darn it. Let's open a new window with that. There. Well, I don't know what all tabs I had over there. All I know is the main one was stream manager. <laughs> darn it. Let's open the stream manager again so I can see, like, stream information on Twitch end. <laughs> stream information. Oh, there's a little bit of my stream playing in the background. There we go. <laughs> Whoops! But yeah, Venusaur is dead. Good old Hypnosis. Hypnosis might be higher in yellow because Gen 1 is the pinnacle of game design. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Hypnosis was more there. I would not be surprised. Okay, so we start with Vault Geist then. I can't believe I just closed all my tabs on that window in my attempt to restart this game. <laughs> I can't believe it. Wow, I'm going to reposition myself. Wow, you are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Michael. Send out Star Raptor. Okay, now we're starting with the type advantage. But yeah, who's responsible? I, I just want to talk. I just want to talk about who designed hypnosis such a way. All right, discharge. You're faster than me. How is a bird faster than a tactical refrigerator? Is your refrigerator running? Well, you better go get it. Smackaroo Star Raptor. Give me the big smackdowns there. Nice. Very, very nice. All right, there goes your Star Raptor. Sweet, now we can switch Pokemon into whatever we need to for the whole rest of this Floatzel. Yeah, so I may as well keep battling here. That's what I may as well do. Hello, I just want to give you a massive hug. I just want to give you the biggest hug in the world. My, oh my, oh my goodness. Pokemon Yellow Mew. Well, with uh, how those games are super glitchy and whatnot, and you can get good old glitch news, it's the best. Currently, Nuzlocke and Platinum have personally been using the tactical washing machine. <laughs> so you've been using Rotom stuff as well, then, huh? So that means you're a cheaty Pete too by cheating in the event. You didn't do it the official Nintendo way by just doing the event back then and then saving the rest of your Nuzlocke for like 12 or something years later. I can't believe you didn't do it the official Nintendo way. I'm reporting you to the Nintendo police. Just get good and be there like 12 years later and just save the rest of your playthrough for when you want to do your Nuzlocke like 12 years from then. Yeah, time travel, imagine not doing it officially. Imagine, imagine using cheaty tactics in a video game. What kind of nerd would do that? Certainly not me. There's no way that would happen. That's, that's ridiculous. I have missed the 95% fly so many times throughout this playthrough. Over and over and over again. I got hit by another probably low accuracy sleep move. I cannot believe this. Oh, because I got the 5% miss. Okay, well, I think I have like one more awakening left. Oh, no, because, oh yeah, because that was the deleted timeline after I got freaking soft locked, so I have my awakenings back. Oh, man. Well, Lynn woke up. Rose Raiders focus a jab. My good gracious. So now we fly. This time for real. If I miss this again, I'm going to lose my eyes. Speaking of 95% misses, you're about to tell the story about some real bullshit happened to your platinum that's launch strap in. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We landed at that time. If it missed, I don't know. I probably would have reached quit or <laughs> something. This is what I might have done. All right, take that, Rose Raid. Get out of here. My goodness, I can't believe this. I would have sent a hair across. I would have sent a hair across, huh? Let's go ahead and switch here. We'll switch over to Akira. That's what I'm thinking. That is my plan. Send out your hair across. See if I care. See if I care about that. Let's go ahead and fly as well. Use our other flying type that we have here. Akira flew up high. Use rock slide. At first, I was worried that that'd be one of those attacks that could still hit a uh, flying Pokemon. I think I might be thinking of Stone Edge, most likely, because like the stones go up, I guess. This is what it most likely is. Sweet. Bird and arm sweet. It's super effective. Close here across fainted. 
Here, I gained some stuff. Okay, here comes Snorlax. So now seems like a good time to switch over to, switch over to Spear here. Seems like a very good plan. Sent out Snorlax. Hi, Snorlax. How's it? How's it hanging, Dudo? Just, just chilling there. Just chilling the hail out. My goodness, your pixelated fingers look a little bit weird on his left arm. I don't know why, but they, oh, I can't even two shot you. You're so tanky. Oh my. Oh noes. That's a. Uh, so you're fighting Cyrus, a second fight. Send out Gyarados and set up Dragon Dance twice. Now you're fast and strong enough to one-shot his whole team. But his Sneasel screeched you twice. Well, when his home came out, you missed the Ice Fang because it's 95% and you lost your best mod. Get out, RNG. Like, I, I don't know if I could ever imagine doing a Nuzlocke on this channel. Like, we're... I've mentioned it before that we're probably doing a Soul Link sometime in the near future with Sun and Moon. But, like... Freaking Nuzlocke's, Fire Emblem Iron Man's, stuff like that. The It just sketches me out, you know? It just absolutely sketches me out there. Even though we are probably gonna do a Sun and Moon thing here in the in the near future. Unless your Blaze Kick Mod burn into an explosion. Yikes. Like, I've never attempted a Nuzlocke. I cannot believe this. Huh? Freaking Gen 4 AI switching out? Really? Gen 4 AI actually switching. I kind of like the whole system that they had going on with uh, the Generation 4 starters with their secondary types. Where it's like, even when you're at a type disadvantage, you also have a type advantage against the other starter at the same time. Because... Freaking ground type is super effective against fighting type. Fighting type is super effective against steel type. And wait, is steel gonna be super effective against grass ground? Maybe I'm losing my mind and I'm not even making sense. Maybe it isn't like reverse after all. Is steel super effective against? I don't even know. We got lots of crocodile in white too because coolest megazone new explosion. Oh no, it all sounds painful. Like the only reason why I'm planning on doing like a sun and moon soul link either really late this year or like early-ish next year oh my good gracious is because it seems like something that'd be fun to do with a fellow streamer friendo and the thing about this playthrough if we ever get it underway and whatnot is we've already planned that if we fail the soul link somewhere along the way we would just like play through the rest of the game anyway and just acknowledge that yep we failed the challenge we didn't beat the challenge but still finish the playthrough regardless because then it still gets to be like a full playthrough of those games covered on our channel and a cool way to do like multiplayer stuff because i've been looking for opportunities to do like more multiplayer playthroughs on this channel because almost every playthrough that's done on this channel is just like me playing a game so i've been looking for more opp a critical hit when it did like a tiny little smidge before and then it just takes off that whole half okay now i've been looking for more opportunities to do like multiplayer playthroughs and whatnot like we tried it out with uh things like pikmin 2 that we did three player with uh uneven pictures and chublima for example we've been doing it more recently with Super Mario 3D World, with Shuck Anima, and more recently Guzma in that. But, but yeah, so there's, there's that. A randomized versus battle. What, for freaking just playing games against someone else? Because I want to do like full on playthroughs, not just playing like a single session with other people. I do have a series of doing single sessions with other people. My Creators Collide series over on YouTube and whatnot, all, all while talking about their content and what they do and whatnot. And I hope that that series does well for itself because I put a lot of time into it, but I feel like it might not and I'm a bit worried and we'll see what happens with that. But I've been looking for opportunities for actual like full playthroughs of things with like other friendos of mine and whatnot. It's all right though. Keep getting tougher, Harm. The more you do, the tougher my Pokemon I get too. There's no end to Pokemon. That's what I'm saying, Harm. Well, there was no end to Pokemon until they started cutting them. There was seemingly no end to Pokemon. And then the Pokemon company said, you know what? Yeah, we take that back. Um, 
Yeah, let's just see your seals and effective against ground, but in pulling against ice beam. Okay, so there's that at least. And whatnot. But yeah, I've done a couple of Nuzlocks and they're pretty fun, but the Janka Pokemon comes out a lot more prominently in Nuzlocks. Yeah, I imagine so. But yeah. I don't know what who Dobbs are original 151 are. I'm sorry to say. Did Nuzlocke, but we're racing against one another to get to the end first. Oh. But uh like, I feel like games like that would be, like, very long kind of playthrough stuff, though. Like, once we start Sun and Moon, it's gonna be going on on the channel for, like, several months, most likely. Is going to be the case. Kind of like Platinum has been on this channel. Like, not something super short. You know? I recently did a semi-speedrun race against somebody. The most recent episode of Creators Collide, actually, was, uh, against somebody that goes by Nuzlocke, funnily enough. Um, if I, uh... No, maybe I won't grab a tab to show that. But the most recent episode of Creators Collide that went up at the time of streaming this was against the remixer on YouTube that goes by Nuzlocke. And we wound up doing a Minecraft bingo race. And that was an interesting time. That was an interesting time. Two years strong for trying to get to the end of that. So it's just like over time in general, not like a single session speedrun kind of thing. Just over time in general, huh? So, yeah, apparently in this place you can rematch, uh... A whole bunch of gym leaders and elite four on their way stronger. Welcome to the battleground. Make yourself at home like always. Like hi. I faced many a challenger at my gym. I trained on Iron Island while contemplating my worth for days. I have the confidence now to better batter down your defenses. Could I ask you for a rematch? Yes. We are tempered and honed by battling the strong. Here's to our showdown. So I do think that it's interesting how in this place, apparently it changes on like a daily basis who's in here. You can go rematching the uh why does it keep freezing like that? Um, why is my audio gone? <laughs> my audio is gone. It's gone again. I just heard my headphones make a doo doo kind of sound, and the audio is just gone. Great. Goody. Well, we need some we need some epic music for this. Isn't there a? Hold on, let's look up on YouTube. Um, glitch X City, Gen Four. Uh, gym leader remix. I'm pretty sure Glitch X City has one. Here's one from eight years ago. Diamond and Pearl gym leader remix. Let's listen to this. This will be our new music for this. Did you put that in spikes? I wasn't paying attention. I was looking for music. That's what I was doing. But yeah, I... Anyway, on the previous subject, I don't want to, you know, get involved in something that's gonna take me years and years. Because we already have been spending years and years across, like, covering a bazillion games on this channel, is the thing. Like, I don't have... I definitely don't have space to put something into the channel schedule that's going to take, like, that hell of a long time, you know? Definitely not. This channel's been around for just over three and a half years now, and in that time, we've covered over a hundred games. And, uh, I'd kind of like to keep on track to just covering a whole bunch of games, rather than, like, commit to one for, like, months to years on end, you know? I kind of much prefer doing a bazillion different things is what I prefer, at least. It's not the same for everyone, it's not the same for all content creators, but that's the way that is for me, at least. And why not? Still mad about losing your Gyarados because not only is it Gyarados who carries Nuzlocke a lot of the time, but it was also your Dragon Dance user, and Dragon Dance is the best move in the game. I believe it. I believe it there. But yeah. There's some... Whoa! We can see. I can definitely keep it in mind when it comes to... I heard my audio cut again. I don't know if it's cutting on stream or if that's literally just my headphones that desperately need replacing. That I complain about all the time. And I keep wanting to replace, but there's like very few headset headphones that like don't give me headaches. And this is one of those kinds of things. So it's like this freaking brand of headphones are like really good on my ears, but they keep breaking is the thing. So the entire Elite Four of White with a Dragon Dance Haxorus. My goodness. Good old dragon dance, huh? Alright, well, I guess Spirit is just wrecking everything. I love how this remix factors in the, uh, like, Kanto Gym Leader battle theme. That was the Gen 2 version of the Kanto Gym Leader? Was it this way in the original thing? I don't even remember. I don't even remember, but I love how it incorporates that too. I do definitely love that. Okay, well... I know that one day we'll be covering Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver on the channel eventually. And I know that one's gonna take me a hell of a long time. But right now, the current Pokemon plans on the channel are, uh... Get through Platinum. Then there'll be, like, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl later this year. Then there'll be freaking Legends Arceus very soon after that. 
and then we'll probably do the Sun and Moon Soul Link. And then from there, we'll figure out what we're doing for uh, straight Pokemon defeated. Then from there, we'll figure out what we're doing for Pokemon. Then from there, it's open. Trade my puddling steel continuously on Iron Iron alongside Pokemon. I can still use more toughening up. But that's already like plans for the next year of covering Pokemon on this channel and whatnot. Amidst a bazillion other other games that we got going on here. Sure, let's go ahead and do this battle as well. But yeah, also had a Dragon Dance, Altaria, and White too, but I think it died. Oh no. I think it's okay if I were to keep losing to the same trainer. Battling that person tells me how much my Pokemon and I have changed. So I would like to challenge you for a rematch now, Harm. Okay, Ray? Oh, that was my battle before a match. Harm, I'm throwing everything I have at you. Okay, here we go. Once again with no game audio. Oh wow, that note came in perfectly, didn't it? That absolutely came in perfectly there. Challenged by leader Maylene. Here we go. Time to use Star Raptor things. But yeah, the game schedule on the channel is already pretty crazy, even just with like the next month and like future plans of like new releases coming out. Never mind old releases. Like at the time of streaming this, it's currently the 8th of August. And uh let's let's see here. If I look at my stream schedule channel in the uh in the Discord server. Where is display capture 2? Here it is. And, uh, oh, it still has those things on top, and, uh, should I just move Display Capture 2, like, way up then? All the way up here. Bada bing, bada boom. So, uh, right now we're currently tackling freaking... I want to do a bazillion games at once. I love doing a bazillion games at once, especially because next month in September is when I'm starting university up again. So this is like the last month that I have the opportunity to do a bazillion games at once like this. So that's what I'm doing. But like, go hard while I can, because I love covering a bazillion games. So my current plan is, uh, there's Platinum that we're wrapping up before Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Splatoon, I haven't even, I haven't hopped into it yet, but Splatoon 3 is coming out next year, and I always cover things on this channel in order. So we're doing 1 and 2 first, so Splatoon 1 is coming up. Last year, early last year, we started doing every Assassin's Creed game in order, and last year we got all the way through Assassin's Creed 3. Early this year, we did Assassin's Creed 4, and we've had like about a half a year break, so we can continue with the next one, because we may as well do at least two games a year in that series, to be on top of that, roughly. Uh, the Skyward Sword HD. I'm doing Dark Souls just as uh, something like outside of the schedule and schedule time, so like hop into purely for fun. So that's what that is. The game that I hop into purely when I feel like having some fun. Freaking Mario 3D World, I gotta organize another session. It's really difficult to organize times that work for like a full group of four. I gotta still hop into some last online stuff in that game with a buddy. So that all involves a whole bunch of scheduling stuff and whatnot is what that is. And new releases here is already freaking a bit crazy. Like, next month, WarioWare Get It Together and Tales of Arise, two games I'm planning on covering, are releasing on the exact same day. Metroid Dread is coming out, when we just beat Super Metroid, like, last night. So, I'll be doing Metroid Fusion soon to get through that. There's a new Mario Party. There's more DLC with Legend of Zelda stuff. There's really Diamond Shining Pearl. Oh, yeah, there's the Nickelodeon Smash Bros. that's coming out. Oh, yeah, I want to cover, like, Minecraft late this year once the cave update is out, because I've wanted to cover it for a while, and that's going to be a good excuse to do so. And there's Legends Arceus. The Sun and Moon Soul Link might actually have to wait until after Legends Arceus at this point, because the person that I'd be doing the Sun and Moon Soul Link with is one of the people that's involved in our 3D World playthrough, and it wouldn't be a good idea to have, like, multiple playthroughs, uh, multiple multiplayer playthroughs with the same people going. Um, because of the Mario Rabbids sequel coming out next year, at some point we're going to have to go through the original Mario plus Rabbids and whatnot. There's, like, Splatoon 1 and 2 before that. Um, at some point we'll do the Metroid Prime Trilogy. And that's all the stuff that's like preparation for new releases. Never mind like other old releases that I want to cover. Um, yeah, absolutely an Invader Zim mate. I love Invader Zim. I even have an Invader Zim poster up there that's like way out of the camera's sight that you wouldn't even get to properly see, but I like that poster. Um, but yeah, so that's even just like the near future of plans, even just with like only new releases and plans in preparation for new releases. Never mind like other stuff that I want to, uh, cover like that are old releases like at some point i want to go through the whole mario and luigi series that whole series of rpgs because they're pretty fun i want to go through the paper mario series i was planning on starting the paper mario series this year but then a whole bunch of other stuff came up and it's looking like we might have to start the paper mario series next year is what it's kind of seeming like because plans kind of fell through and we did a whole bunch of other games instead so maybe no paper mario this year but at some point in the near future yeah Maybe, maybe. Um, I was recently talking during... What game was I streaming that I was talking about, like, older games that I want to get into that I've never played before? It might have been Super Metroid. I, 
maybe it wasn't i don't know but there are also like some old series that i've never played before that i want to get into like freaking uh mass effect and metal gear i keep on hearing things about i've never played any game from either of those series before but i want to one of these days so there's always a bazillion things i'd like to eventually maybe get the channel to a point that we've gotten through like all the kind of at least a good chunk of the main uh classic pokemon games and whatnot go through the history of that maybe eventually i'll get to that point because so far in terms of main series pokemon games we've done on this channel there was let's go sword and shield and now platinum so that'll be like three done of freaking if we do sun and moon that'll make four only uh only a bazillion more to go pokemon could definitely keep me occupied on this channel for a long time if we really if we really wanted to but yeah, playing to Nuzlocke Heart Gold by ever did it be an extremely difficult rule set, even more so than hardcore rules you normally do, an unconventional rule set. Isn't Heart Gold Soul Silver already like pretty crazy in terms of its difficulty, especially in the second half? Like it's been a long time since I played Heart Gold Soul Silver, but I hear that apparently around the second half, like the leveling gets a little bit insane in the way that it's imbalanced. But yeah, I'd love to see you try and wrap your head around the insanity of Metal Gear. I've heard that it could be a confusing plot. I've heard that it gets a little bit crazy. All right, Verloom. Uh, let's give Akira some love. That's what we'll do. Let's give Akira some loving out here. How about? Sounds like a good plan. So your final Pokemon is almost certainly going to be Lucario then, I assume, right? Now, let's go ahead and do a fly here. Is what we must do. But yeah, so this is all stuff that we'll do eventually. But there's always so many games, so little time. And that's part of the reason why I'm covering a bazillion games right now on the on the channel before university starts up. Because once university is underway, I'm probably going to have to go back to covering like one or two at a time. Not like the bazillion that I'm covering right now, you know. So the month of August is going to be... This is my last time before this upcoming semester that I can cover a bazillion things. So I'm doing it while I can, you know. All right, Lucario Ditto is what we're doing here. Like, maybe by the time next summer rolls around, maybe I'll be able to start covering a bazillion things at once again. But, for the foreseeable future, it's my last chance to be- Oh, you're higher level than me. Ah, but I'm faster. For the next good while, it's my last chance to cover, like, a lot of things at once. So, even though no reasonable content creator should ever be covering, like, as many games at once as I do, I I'm doing it anyway. Wow, there's the one shot doing it anyway i'm doing it while i can because the more games i get through the more other games that i can get to that i've wanted to get to you know essentially like the more other games that i get done and covered the closer i get to being able to cover things like paper mario mario and luigi mass effect metal gear other pokemon games <laughs> so the more stuff i get done the more other things i can pick up you know i love visiting here bucks grandpa cooks for us and it's all delicious that's not all we can eat all we want isn't that amazing wow that's super nice of him don't know how he doesn't freaking go bankrupt with that don't know how you run a business off of that but but yeah so we shall see here metal gear gets more ridiculous as the games go on to the point where metal gear solid 5 there's a disease you can only get by speaking a specific language what the language isn't german by chance is it because then i'd be able to get it i speak german that's like the only other language in addition to English that I speak. I don't really speak anything else. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I doubt it's German. If it is German, that'd be hella cool. But probably not. Let's go ahead and save. Okay, well, this has been a good three-hour session here of trying to uh, get heat ran, essentially, is what it's been. My good gracious. I saved, right? I'm going to be that person that saves again because I'm always sketched out about that is the case oh wow perfectly as the music fades for a place to wrap things up here if you remember right it's english <laughs> you can only get it by speaking a specific language and it's english what <laughs> freaking wacky so are you just saying it wasn't translated into languages other than english in like every other version that isn't english or something like that anyway yeah that seems like a good place to wrap things up me thinks this has been a good session here um, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 as a meme is a plot point. Something I'll look forward to when the day comes that we do get to get around to that and whatnot. Something I will definitely look forward to there. But yeah, next time, I guess, well, what will we do next time? Maybe go after the roaming legendaries. Is maybe what we'll do next time. That's what I'm thinking. Because bit by bit, we're wrapping up this Pokemon Platinum playthrough. There's getting to be, like, less and less stuff to do. It's mostly just, like, legendary hunting from here. Is what mostly is. So next time, I guess we'll go after the roaming legendaries and uh, 
see what happens, I guess. So until next time then, take care all and see ya.